So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do AI set extensions on your music videos. If you guys shoot a lot of run and gun music videos and have a tripod, this is a great effect to use, especially because you can extend the scenes and make them as massive as you want and really tweak them to your own liking using AI. So we have this brand new Amine music video opened up here and we're going to be using this clip and extending the set to be way bigger than it actually is here in the frame. So to get started, what we want to do is actually go to the very beginning of your clip and we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot of it. Once we have that screenshot saved, now we're going to go ahead and open up Photoshop and use the screenshot inside of here. Before we hop into this video, you can get buy one, get one free editing packs for everything on my website. If you guys are looking for brand new plugins like Fast Effects or Surveillance, those are also included in the deal. If you guys add six editing packs to your cart, three of those are going to be completely free. Fast Effects allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, and have full customizability over all of them inside of Premiere Pro. And surveillance allows you to add crazy security camera effects inside of After Effects, alongside all of my other packs like color grading, drag and drop 3D, music video titles, textures, and a ton more. And we also have an all-in-one bundle where you can get all my packs for one price. If this is something you guys are interested in, go check out my website down below. But without further ado, let's hop right back into the video. And now that I have the screenshot opened inside of Photoshop, what we're gonna go ahead and do next is actually click this unlock tool and then scale down our image to the size we want. Let's say I wanna have all this be filled with AI. What we're gonna do next is then click off and then go over to our rectangular marquee tool here, which is our second one. And we're actually gonna highlight just like this. So we're gonna create a little box inside of this one, not fully covering it, leaving a border around it. Now we're gonna go ahead and right click Go over to select inverse. It's going to select everything around. So this little area and then everything else. And then we're going to go down to this generative fill button, click that, and then hit generate. Now, if you want to add anything inside of here that you'd like the scene to add, you can go ahead and do that. You can say clouds at the top if you want, but if you just want it to generate and see what it makes you, just go ahead and click generate. You're going to get this loading tab up here, and now you just want to go ahead and wait for it to generate you something. And you guys can see instantly we get this crazy scene, and you get three of them, so you can go ahead and flip through them and choose them to your liking. If you're not a fan of any of them, you can just hit generate again, and it will make three more for you. So let's say we like this one, but we don't like this weird pole thing it created at the top. What we could do is turn off the bottom layer, and and then clicking on the top one, we can highlight this to about here and then hit generate a fill and hit generate just to get rid of this and hopefully it blends it further in with the background. I think that's fine there and we'll do it one more time just on this piece right here, just to hopefully get rid of it. And boom, you guys can see instantly it got rid of that weird area. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press Command Option S to save this. And we're gonna save it as a PNG as it's transparent in the center here. And once we have it saved, we're gonna reopen Premiere Pro. And we're gonna open this up inside of Premiere Pro. Now dragging it on top of our clip, all we have to do next is just go ahead and scale the video at the bottom down so it fits and bring it on top of the image. And once you guys have it lined up to your liking, all you have to do is play with the color a little bit on the background video here. So we're just gonna go ahead and bring down the exposure. So it matches a little bit better there. And boom, you guys can see we have this. Crazy set extension. I know this is a little bit messed up here. You can bring it back in and fix that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. But you guys can see instantly how much more depth we added to this scene. It's actually crazy. If you guys enjoy quick and easy tutorials just like this, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.